Good morning and welcome to Croatia. So yeah, we arrived in Croatia literally about 20 minutes ago. We were put straight onto a minibus and straight to a hotel. But yeah, we're here really super early. Everything went really smooth. The views on the plane were amazing. It's been so long since I've done a video for YouTube, to be honest with you, especially a travel one because I haven't been away for so long. Me and Josh haven't been away together, just me and him, for five years, like pre-COVID, um, because a lot of our holidays were canceled. So it's just me and Josh, we're gonna explore Dubrovnik, we're currently in Savtap, I think it's called. I'm not gonna go there. But yeah, we're currently here for four nights. The weather forecast isn't looking too warm. There's like wood of storms and rain and things like that. So the weather is a little bit hit and miss, kind of like island weather to be honest. So we just gotta kind of work with what we got. But the views, honestly guys, are amazing. Like we've just checked in and we've. this is one of the best views from the hotel I think I've ever had. So, oh my God, like a little yacht has just, perfectly timed going by there but this is the current view from my hotel it's just pure sea and this little island here which we're going to try and find out what is called so yeah i look forward to showing you guys around and sharing what we get up to during the next four days um it's going to be fun and yeah i'm really excited and josh is super excited so yeah we can't wait to get into it and explore and like just be away on holiday ever since we've been renovating the house and ever since covid life's been a little bit up and down also this holiday is like well overdue well deserved especially with Josh who works so hard so I think the plan is now is to kind of like have a little explore around the hotel find out what's going on what like events there are over the next couple of nights and where the restaurants are the spa the pool and things like that so that's the plan I think for today and then take a little trip down to the harbour side because apparently it's only like a 12 minute walk so which isn't too bad I'm not going to put too much pressure on the vlogging I'm going to do what I can and just kind of go with it and yeah try and be as authentic as I can so we'll go with that I'm really excited really nervous that I've got the camera again and I'm vlogging I'm on holiday so yeah it's all good but anyway I'll catch up with you guys some point during the holiday I'm not gonna promise anything because yeah it's just you know Um, it's 16 degrees, there's no rain at the moment, there's no storms but it looks like there has been one this morning just by how mad the sea has been so we'll just have a little walk around, might find somewhere to get some food but yeah it's a really nice scenic area, probably one of the best places I think I've ever been just in terms of like there's everything here, there's a harbour side, there's like little village area obviously you can see behind me is full of trees and wildlife and then as I look towards this way you've got loads of mountains and yeah it's really really beautiful here so I'm so glad I booked this place um, it's just stunning. So yeah, I'll quickly show you everything that I'm soaking up around me and I'll catch up with you again when we get to our next little spot. Hi guys, I thought I'd just jump on again and just give you guys a little update what we're doing. So basically just now, um, we did a little loop of Sabat and we are now doing the other side because it kind of links around it's like two sort of harbour areas. So yeah, we've done the first one, which I'll include a little map here so it kind of makes sense. The waves are absolutely crazy. I'm not even sure if you can hear me in this little video clip, but yeah, it's a really enjoyable walk. The scenery is like picture perfect. Like it's one of those holidays where I wish I brought my proper camera, you know, but the iPhone will work, it will do. So this is our current situation. We are currently walking behind the back of our hotel. Um, there's another little footpath there. So yeah, let's see what um, is behind the hotel because apparently there's a nudist beach. Um, that's not the reason why we're going there, even though it may seem that now that I've mentioned it, but out of curiosity, we're gonna just see if it's true. So yeah, um, let's go and do that. 
So this is our hotel from the back, full of flowers and pretty views of the sea. Got loads of little plants and stuff like that, like Mediterranean. We've actually got some of these at home in the garden that I'm trying to grow. Um, but look how soft they look, I love the colour. As you can see above, there are so many rooms in this hotel. everyone and welcome to day two of Croatia um, basically last night um, after we did our little walk we came back had a nap and then got changed went swimming and we spent like an hour in the pool just like relaxing we came back got dressed and then had dinner and then we went to bed and slept nine hours so yeah we were really really tired yesterday I think work life and obviously how busy we were yesterday kind of just caught up on us so it's currently like half seven in the morning which to us is a little bit of a lion to be fair because at home we're normally up at like six o'clock for the dogs so yeah, um, we're up now, I'm going to get dressed, we're going to go and get some breakfast. The plan for today is to go to Dubrovnik, and we're going to get the bus and then make our way there. It's about 45 minutes on the bus and it's around 4 euros each way. By the way, so far everything here is just stunning, like the views, um, the little walk we did yesterday, it's just one of my favourite things to do, it's like really scenic, naturistic walk. Um, the waves were crashing around, it was a complete ASMR trip. We caught a bit of a dead end, like we thought you can just walk all the way around the hotel but obviously you could only walk a certain amount of way that way and then you hit like a dead end area. Overall yesterday we walked around 10 kilometers around the little harbourside area so it's a good little walk. So yeah we're gonna get ready now, we're gonna have some breakfast and then spend the day in Dubrovnik. So this is my quick little breakfast outfit of the day. Um, as you can see it's just really just chucked together. Um, we're gonna come back and get changed afterwards but yeah this is what I'm wearing if you're curious. <laughs> This is my current outfit. I'm just wearing this little maxi dress which I picked up from Asda. £2 in the end of season sale last year. So I'm just going to go with this. It's really nice and flowy. My hair, let's not talk about it. It's just not doing anything for me right now. So I'm just going to try and keep it behind my shoulders and just style it like that. Most of the outfits that I picked out for this holiday are like green and blues. So I tried to like not pack as much this time because I'm a little bit of like um over packer. So I've decided to go with like mix and match clothes and kind of go for a colour scheme this time to kind of like not overwhelm myself. So if I just stick to like a scheme and a system, it just works better for me and I don't feel stressed. Same charge and bench. That's actually sick. Yeah. That's cool. This is my idea of a very nice day out. Where? Oh yeah! update for you guys we are currently in Lopad um, which is like a little beach area at the back of the Bovnik. we've got a little bit off track um, got carried away with the sun and view so we just kept on walking we've walked all the way around the back end of the Bovnik. again I'll put a map here so you can actually see what we've done I've actually changed my sandals over to trainers because my feet are aching I definitely shouldn't have done that in sandals but <laughs> it is what it is this is the view of what we're uh, currently looking at now as we have arrived here it's really off season so a lot of the little stations over there are closed i think a lot of it's going to be like that over the next couple of days i think the season starts end of may we're gonna head back to dubrovnik and i think we're gonna do the old town tomorrow because again we've gone so off track but in a good way but yeah maybe spend a whole day in dubrovnik tomorrow doing like the old town the fort and like all that sort of thing because we haven't actually planned anything for tomorrow so it is an open day anyway and plus the weather is going to be a little bit more warmer as well we're on a mission as well to kind of find like um an orange to take off one of the trees and most of them are in private gardens so we don't want to do that but yeah that is our mission like we always try and find stuff like that to do so yeah we're going to try and find like um an organic lemon or orange to pick off a tree that is our little scavenger hunt should we say so yeah let's try and find that and some of the trees we have looked at are a little bit high up so we can't actually pick 
anything off it we're literally just gonna have a little wander back now and maybe try and find something to eat maybe but again we've heard Dubrovnik can be a little bit expensive so trying to opt for like street food or maybe an ice cream will do but as you can see like all these little huts and stuff are closed that's closed most of the beaches here are like um pebble stones they're not actually sand see so, yeah, as you can see there as well a little beach slide which is quite cool if it's warmer we would have definitely done that we put our hand in the sea earlier and it was like absolutely freezing so absolutely not Sour, aren't they? Yeah, they're fucking sour. God, that's mm. like a lemon. That is very sour. Hi guys, so a little update for you. We have just walked all the way from La Pad Beach area and the harbour side in Dubrovnik and we're currently walking towards the old city. Basically we've decided that we're going to be doing the cable cars today. Um, big coach just went by. We're going to do the cable cars today just because then tomorrow we can spend a full day in Dubrovnik old town. So yeah that's the plan now. I'm really excited. It looks really high up. Have a look. walked all the way from this harbour side all the way around here up the old town and then obviously we've got the cable car up but yeah that's literally where we were just now which is crazy um yeah it's actually quite far away to be honest with you so cool you can actually see the rain go over the mountains not sure you can see it on the camera but yeah somewhere there scary guys and welcome to day three of our time in Croatia. Today um, we are actually heading back to Dubrovnik and doing the old city walls and the museums. Um, yesterday we kind of went a little bit off track. Like I said it was a really fun little adventure going all the way around the back of I think it's called Lopad. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. 22,000 steps we did yesterday and we did end the day by going up the cable cars and back and we just made it in time for the bus journey home. Like as we were going down our bus turned up because it is quite a busy bus route in general um, because it's such a long stretch around the uh, coast it is quite a popular bus so yeah we are heading back to Dubrovnik now we've already had our breakfast and we're ready to go I'm gonna go for a little summer dress today it's a little bit more cloudier today but it should be a little bit warmer and yeah yesterday we tried one of those oranges super super sour so we know we're not gonna be tempted today to pick any we're gonna head off now and I'll catch you guys very soon So we have arrived into Dubrovnik. We are just doing a little walk around the city walls now. And we're gonna check out a few museums, uh, maybe even buy some ice cream, but there are a lot of birds here. And as you guys know, I have a big fear of birds, so <laughs> we'll see. But it is quite busy here. It's the busiest place we've been to so far. Definitely a big tourist area here. So I can't imagine what it's gonna be like during the summer. But in comparison to the days we've had, um, there's been hardly anyone around. It's been a really nice experience. We've walked pretty much halfway around 
the fort now. Um, it does take quite a while, especially if you want to do all the little covey bits and stuff. Definitely takes, uh, I would say, about one to two hours. on the bus to Dubrovnik again, ready to do our Elefiti Island tour on the boat. It's seven o'clock in the morning, as you can tell, I'm super tired. We're gonna be doing a whole day trip on the boat um, around the Elefiti Islands. We put this online, it comes with lunch and drinks as well. Booked it in advance, um, it's around 90 euros, I would say. So yeah, can't wait to bring you guys along with us. Hopefully we uh, freshen up a little bit as the day goes on, because at the moment, as you can see, I am pretty tired. Um, it was an early start this morning, so quickly washed down at breakfast. Um, you must look like a pack of wild animals <laughs> in the restaurant, but you gotta do what you gotta do. to the plan we had today in a good way and we turned up to the boat at 8 50 and next minute we were basically shooting off on a record what would you say speedboat speedboats yeah so we've had a little speedboat tour all the way around the islands and um, the main reason was is because yeah, we were young and um we can go and see all the caves and stuff like that so yeah a group of us ended up going on the speedboat and it's really, really fun to be honest. Josh has gone in the sea. Um, we're doing our first drop, which we've got about 40 minutes here. So we're just gonna walk up to the cemetery and I think there's a little tower at the top as well. Let's see if we can do that in time. Someone actually missed a boat. So as we were turning up, the boat was leaving, the one that we were supposed to go on, um, the Emily boat. So I think our driver's gonna take them to that next stop and then come back and pick us up basically. I don't know why I decided to film whilst we're walking up a mega hill, but you know, it wouldn't be my channel without a hill walk, so. Here we go. This is where we're sort of looking to go, maybe.
morning everyone unfortunately our trip ends today um, we've had an absolute amazing time it's been such a blast yesterday was definitely the cherry on top of the cake with the uh, speedboat tour that we did around the LFPT islands it was absolutely amazing we had such a good time it was so much fun honestly I was laughing so much overall it's been such a beautiful place um, such a nice quiet time of the year to go as well if you're looking to go earlier and beating all the like tourism traffic definitely go between now and I'd say towards the end of May Dubrovnik was definitely one of the busiest places out of all the places we've been to so far on this holiday um, mainly because it is a bit more of a touristy sort of setup there that's definitely a vibe if you're into a busier sort of environment we've really enjoyed being in Savtat I've learned it's Savtat now um, towards the end of the trip we've realized that the Croatians only um, respond to Savtat <laughs> we don't actually go back until half past three today it's currently half past nine in the morning we've had our breakfast packed up everything just got a few little bits and bobs behind us that we need to do and we're just going to basically buy some souvenirs and we might even go to this little place yeah I'm not sure though because where's the leaflet gone so I actually spoke to one of the excursion tour guides that was in the hotel just to see what kind of trips they do and they kind of do like private trips like taxi journeys around the area but they quoted us 200 euros which isn't bad for what they offered but obviously we just don't have that with us so we are planning to hopefully spend a couple of hours here just get a taxi there basically an old water mill they have traditional clothing there which they serve you food with and it's right by like this little waterfall area which you can see and yeah it looks really really cute and a little way to spend a couple of hours because like i said our flight isn't until 5 p.m tonight and obviously we get picked up from the hotel at 3:30. we've got quite a few hours left before we can head off back home we'll see i'm not gonna promise anything because again we were really really tired after yesterday and all night me and josh felt like we were like riding the waves on the boat it was just like yeah we had a little bit of motion sickness afterwards even towards the end of the boat trip josh pointed out to see we saw like a family of dolphins swimming through the bridge again i've actually just managed to film that little clip my battery was on like five percent at the time i was like quick get this little video another cherry on top of the day that we just felt was amazing like everyone on the boat were just like really amazed by that i've tried my best to vlog throughout this like trip as much as i can like talking wise but i just feel like i just wanted to kind of dive into the action because the scenery was so nice just get little clips for you guys so you can see what it's really like here in croatia so yeah i mean it's been raining this morning so we're kind of waiting for the rain to die out yeah i've kind of packed as if it's going to be like 30 degree weather which obviously it isn't it's been like the highest it's been is like 18 degrees but it has felt warm it just depends on the wind and the clouds and stuff like that so definitely recommend coming this time of year mainly because i can imagine like even the bus we take to Dubrovnik if you're going to stay here it's such a busy bus it's a number 10 and there's been many journeys where we've had to go back and forth just standing like for 45 minutes so I can imagine in peak times that's going to be so much more worse they might even have more buses I'm not sure but that's something to be aware of if you are staying in Savtat and traveling to Dubrovnik is the buses are quite full I don't know if I mentioned this but this is our nine year anniversary trip with me and Josh we haven't been away for five years so coming away on holiday just feels like a dream we needed a break and especially Josh like he worked so hard like I said in the beginning like so this trip's been amazing it's actually our anniversary today but we're going back today just because it just worked out more affordable to do it from wednesday to sunday rather than doing it thursday to monday i'm going to head off now we're going to explore and i might see you at the end maybe back at home maybe in the airport i'm not sure um but i hope you guys have enjoyed watching us explore croatia and dubrovnik so far it's been a really great holiday um and i highly recommend a visit here it's so beautiful even just like not even the main area bits like every single beach location has got a beautiful view this little necklace here that's what Josh got me today for anniversary. It's little mountains of a sun. I'll show you a better video. So cute. Mm -hmm. 